Do you see what's happening right here? So let's talk about it. I'm sitting in my kitchen, just needed a little bit of change. Just got through cleaning up a little bit in here, a lot of it in here. Happy um, whatever day this is that this comes out. Um, I have multiple videos that I'm about to do. So you're going to see the same hat, same shirt. Okay. So it's a lot going on. I didn't want to fit it all into one particular video. Let me grab my coffee real quick. So rise and shine, whatever day it is for you. Okay. So I'm going to get this coffee stirred up. I hope you guys are having a really, really blessed day. Um, I done heat this coffee up, y'all, probably <laughs> three times um, while I was looking at these stories and then cleaning and all this other stuff. So uh, these banks, I haven't talked about them in a while, and I had really no intention of talking about it. I'm trying to straighten up, y'all, been outside. Um, but we're going to do it today. So we're about to get into it. Go ahead. If you can, these things do help the channel hitting the like button, sharing, subscribing to the channel. We would love for you to become a part of the family. Talk about Stevie. Um, yeah. So let me share. Well, I'm already sharing. Let me see which one I'm going to click on because it's about three stores. That's why I'm just going to do the banks in one particular video. And then the other closings that I have, I'm going to do them in a separate video. So I have a lot of store, well, a lot of things closing. So we're going to keep the banks together. So we have, we're going to start with, um, let's start with the Republic First Bank. So the FDIC says, let me make sure you can see it. Okay. The FDIC says Republic First Bank is closed by Pennsylvania regulators. This happened six days ago. I didn't know about this six days ago. Otherwise, I probably would have already done it. Um, it says the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation on Friday said that Republic First Bank has been closed by Pennsylvania state regulators. And what the FDIC said was the first U.S. bank failure this year. This article, like I said, six days ago. So this is not an old article talking about bank closures. This is a new article. Philadelphia-based Republic First Bank, doing business as Republic Bank, was closed today, six days ago, by Pennsylvania Department of Banking and Securities, which appointed the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation as receiver. To protect depositors, the FDIC entered into an agreement with Fulton Bank, National Association of Lancaster, Pennsylvania to assume substantially all of the deposits and purchase substantially all of the assets of the Republic Bank. This is said in a statement. The bank had about six billion with a B in total assets and four billion with a B in total deposits at the end of January, according to the FDIC. That makes Republic Bank far smaller than the regional bank failures that rocked the financial world last year. That's why I'm telling you, this is a new closure that is happening right here. Okay. Silicon Valley bank, for example, last year had about 209 billion at the end of 20. Well, not last year at the end of 2022, it collapsed last year in March of 2023. The FDIC said the former bank's 32 branches in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York will reopen as branches of Fulton Bank on Saturday for branches with normal Saturday hours or on Monday during normal business hours. 
those who have deposits at Republic Bank will become depositors at Fulton Bank, the FDIC said. The agency's deposit insurance covers up to $250,000 per depositor. Now, I'm going to stop here and say that when Silicon Valley Bank, SVB Bank, and you can look back at my videos for that, when they folded, when they collapsed, the government stepped in to pay it. They're not going to be able to keep doing that for these banks that are um, closing. They just can't. They, they, they're they not going to be able to do it because it's going to be so many of them. Okay, where were we? The FDIC said that Republic Bank was the first bank to fail in the United States since Citizens Bank in Sac City, Iowa in November of 2023. So this is another failed bank, not, oh, we're closing because more people want to do online. This is a failed bank and there will probably be more of them. Republic First Bank is a separate entity from First Republic Bank, a San Francisco-based commercial bank that was closed in May of 2023. The majority of the bank's assets were sold to J.P. Morgan Chase. The Philadelphia-based bank's failures come at a tumultuous time for regional banks as elevated interest rates have hurt the credit-dependent industry. Everybody is relying, well, majority of people are relying on credit cards to make it. Silicon Valley Bank's collapse sparked a broader crisis last year. Signature Bank's failure followed days after or well, days later. And First Republic Bank failed a few weeks after that. I don't know if y'all remember those. Silicon Valley failed first, then First Republic failed. And it was like only a week later, it wasn't even, it was like a one week later, if not three days later. In total, there were five bank failures in 2023, according to the FDIC. Recently, New York Community Bank saw wild swings in its stock prices. Customers began pulling their cash from the regional lender after it said it had identified material weakness in the company's control. When they start seeing people run to the bank or however you do it online, whatever, and pulling your money from that bank, they're going to start freezing accounts. The bank got a $1 billion equity investment lifeline from investors, including former Treasury Secretary Stephen uh, Mnuchin firm, Liberty Strategic Capital in March. So... That is what's happening with the First Republic Bank. The Republic First Bank, rather, is closed by Pennsylvania regulators. That is what's happening with that story. Now we're going to move on to our next story. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. The next story, what I have is banks that are closing, in my next video, I'm going to have restaurants and possibly grocery stores that are shutting down. I just did not want to put them all in the same exact one. So we just did this one here. No, we just did Republic First Bank closing, folding, <laughs> collapsing the collapse of First Republic. Now we're going to do, uh, let's do TD Bank branch closing. Let me double check and make sure you can see it. Okay, so TD Bank branch closing in Hatboro. I guess that's how you say it. And that's in Pennsylvania. This is another Pennsylvania bank. Republic First was Pennsylvania, so is this one. TD Bank has announced that it is closing 20 
branches across the country, including its branch at 256 South York Road sometime this month of May. Let me repeat that. TD Bank has announced that it is closing 20 branches across the country, including its branch at 256 South York Road this month. No date has been announced for the other closures, but in federal filings past week, well, this week, with the Office of um, Comptroller, because they have 90 days they have to do a 90 day advance in informing people that this is about to take place. TD Bank listed several locations for closure. Here are the locations that TD Banks will be closing down these 20 branches. This includes branches in South Carolina, my hometown, New Hampshire, seven in New York, Vermont, two in Maine, and two in Massachusetts. Now, it did not say how many in South Carolina. It did not say how many in New Hampshire or Vermont, but it did say seven in New York and two in Maine and two in Massachusetts. The other Pennsylvania closings are in Shippick, Bethlehem, and Allentown. Hatboro has its Hatboro Federal Savings Headquarters and branch located on York Road. The branch closings come after recent news that Republic First Bank was seized and shut down. The bank that I just told you about, which I had not read any of these articles, so I'm glad I started with that one first. The Republic First Bank was seized. Note that, seized and shut down by federal regulators before reopening under the Fulton Bank brand. So another bank came in and rescued them. But I have seen that happen before with other banks that come in and rescue the other bank, then down the road, oh, we, we still gotta close these banks because it's not working. Republic had four branches in Philadelphia region, including one in Abington. Um, the article TD Bank branch closing in Hatboro appeared first on Hatboro um, Horsome Patch. So that's what's happening with that one. So first we got Republic First Bank that is that was seized and is now closing down. Now we have TD Bank closing 20 of their branches in South Carolina, New Hampshire, New York, Vermont, Maine, and Massachusetts. Okay, so let's go to the next bank. Please give this video a thumbs up. I am working very hard to bring you guys this news that you hopefully can use or share with somebody that can use it. Okay, so Hitting that like button does help this video get out to more people. Now we're gonna to go to the next bank, which is here. Banks have been closing branches at a rapid pace. And this is talking about how it's impacting Oregon, but this is going to impact everyone, anybody who has a bank account, this is going to affect you whether it's TD Bank, First Republic Bank, or Republic First Bank, in Wells Fargo. I told you guys they were closing up one somewhere in North Carolina. I think it was Raleigh. And we, we know Bank of America has their issues. So this article is... The owner of a Jerry's Diner in Lakeview in Oregon has made a routine of swinging by the U.S. Bank branch. So U.S. Bank is having issues as well across the street from the diner every couple of days to deposit cash and pay bills. But starting this week in this article, let's see what it's dated for, four days ago. So 
four days ago, he went by the bank to do a bank run and bank runs may take at least two hours to accomplish. That's because the local U.S. bank branch is in a small southern Oregon town will close on Tuesday. So they're probably already closed. Today is Friday. So Monday. So they're closed. This bank is shut down also. After that, he'll be facing at least an hour drive one way to visit the U.S. bank near him. And that bank branch is in some part of California, Klamath Falls or Alturas, California. Um, U.S. Bank, which was founded in Oregon in 1891, was based in Portland until 1997, announced earlier this year that it would close seven branches across the state by the end of April. I guess they're sticking to that. The bank had previously closed more than 30 branches in Oregon in late 2020 and in 2021. Last year, the bank closed eight of their branches. The closures reflect a broader trend in the country's banking industry. Experts say the number of bank branches has been falling nationwide since the Great Recession, but the trend, they're calling it a Great Recession. The government has yet to call it a great recession. So think about that. We all know what it is because we're experiencing it. People are struggling to buy groceries, to pay um, lights, mortgage, rent, water, whatever it is, buy food. It is a struggle. I see it when I go do my grocery store walkthroughs. So it says that since the Great Depression, not depression, the Great Recession, but the trend accelerated after the onset of the coronavirus pandemic, they say the closures impact small business owners, rural residents, and low to moderate income communities the most. From 2013 to 2023, putting it on the, you know, evaluating um, these banks as to foot traffic, how many people coming in, and this may be why we're closing the doors, but that is not the case when it comes to the Republic First Bank. That is not the case when it comes to the TD Bank. That is, you know, that is just not the case. So I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say because the economy is has been tanking for a while. Um, our pockets are stretched. When you reach in, you may pull lint. <laughs> um, and I laugh to keep from crying because we struggle here in our home when it, it to hold on. the lake. We struggle, you know to get things paid, to do whatever, to take care of the college situation with our son. And now our daughter is about to go to the same college. And so that is financially straining on us. And so I know it has to be straining on a lot of people and a lot of people are stressed out. So pack your patience, I would say, when you're going grocery shopping, because that's when I see the majority of the you know arguments in the store whether it's you know spouses arguing in the store about well you can't get this or well i want to get this and um well we need that <laughs> so and it could be cashier and customer i just frustration because wages aren't what they yes walmart did raise some of their wages yes a lot of stores have wait raised their wages but they cut hours. That's what they're not telling you. They cut back on hours. So they're still making pretty much around the same amount of money, um, even though their hourly wages have gone up. If you cut a few days out, they're still bringing home the same thing. They're still trying to pay uh, Rob Peter to pay Paul, basically. 
So y'all take care, stay safe. Um, leave your comments down below. Leave tips for people. Um, I would never, I can't sit here and say I would never. I, I don't like to say never, but I'm not telling you to take your money out of any particular bank because they all struggling right now. So it's a risk period because they're only going to insure $250,000 period. Um, so you see a lot of companies not putting in more than that now because they see what's happening. A lot of companies are pulling their money. They're moving it somewhere else. So that's beyond my knowledge because I don't have that kind of money. So, but y'all take care, stay safe. I hope this was informative. Um, please give it a thumbs up. I know I say that all the time, but I cannot do it without you guys. I need your help. And that is to hit the thumbs up button. Okay. And so as far as my gardening, homesteading stuff on this channel, it will be on like the weekends when I post that during the week, I'm going to post these news articles because that's what you guys want to see. If you want to see more of the garden and the homesteading stuff or fishing and all of that stuff, you can go over to my second channel, Tommy Bites Life, which I'm probably going to change the name to Life. Um, <clears throat> what else I was going to change the name? I'm so tired. Uh, it's Tommy Bites Life right now. So go over there and subscribe. Help your girl reach her 10,000 uh, subscriber goal, become a part of the family over there. I have my Connie Corso videos over there. People seem to really love those Connie Corso videos and I will do more, um, fishing and gardening, but the, the gardening and homesteading, I'll probably just do those as shorts. Um, but the fishing and stuff like that, me and my son, or just me by myself, because I just want to do more and, I don't want to mess up my uh, analytics over here. So I'm just going to stay true to the news you can use. And on Fridays, I, I want to do like hot topics where I'm talking about a bunch of different things, news and entertainment. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. And I will start doing that on Fridays. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember that I do love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one. You be the best you you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Time Bites TV. Smooches and I holla. Bye. Oh.